Hello. Thank you for joining me in the Quip Corner for this special edition. Today is March 20th and it's the International Day of Happiness. When I looked up the definition of happiness, it said being happy. Go figure. And then, of course, when you look at happy, it says being content and having pleasure. So join me in the Quip Corner as we talk some more about being happy. See you in a bit. Welcome to the Quip Corner. Yes, today is the International Day of Happiness. Let me read something on the UN website about today. It says, the General Assembly of the United Nations in its resolution 66 281 of 12 July 2012 proclaimed 20 March the International Day of Happiness, recognizing the relevance of happiness and well being as universal goals and aspirations in the lives of human beings around the world. It sounds almost expected, but I guess it's because a lot of people are not usually happy that the United Nations was like, let's call it out and try and encourage people to truly be happy. While researching and getting ready for this, I was curious about what other people had said about happiness. And then I found this interesting quote, which once again, I'll read to you. Mahatma Gandhi said, happiness is when what you think and what you say and what you do are in harmony. So what you think, what you say and what you do are in harmony. So let's look at the quip for today and then let's see how it ties into happiness. Quip 52 says, be careful of giving people a piece of your mind so that you don't run out of mind and peace. I'm sure you've heard, okay, let me not assume. Some of us would have heard people say things like, I'll give you a piece of my mind or I'll give him a piece of my mind and so on and so forth just to express how they feel. And sometimes you need to give people a piece of your mind so that you return to that place of contentment, so that you are happy yourself. But I ask, when you're giving people a piece of your mind, are you helping to make that other person happy? The other thing too about giving people a piece of your mind is sometimes you do it and then you have lost peace as in p-e-a-c-e -E. so was it worth it in the first place <laughs> if you ask me no so as we celebrate international day of happiness i invite you to think about what is it that makes you happy relationships when they're going well make us happy when they're not we need to correct them yes agreed but in giving a piece of your mind, are you losing your peace as well? Are you losing your happiness? Ask yourself that question every time you want to give people a piece of your mind. And if you keep giving out a piece, a tiny piece of your mind everywhere you go, such that you're totally unable to tolerate other people, needless to say, you may run out of mind soon enough. <laughs> And hopefully not. So I joined the UN to wish you a happy International Day of Happiness. Carry happiness with you. Take your sunshine with you wherever you go. Well, thank you for joining me in the Quip Corner today. 
Yes, it's good to be happy. And it sometimes involves giving people a piece of your mind. But just be careful that you're not losing your own peace when you're giving out a piece of your mind. Until next week, do take care of yourself and be happy because every minute you are unhappy, guess what? You have lost 60 seconds of happiness, which you can never, ever regain. Take care. Bye now.